Well, hello, folks, and welcome to Modular Curiosity, episode 11. Can you believe we're up to 11 already? Oh, my gosh. Okay, so this episode, I'm kind of going to go back to what was the original idea for Modular Curiosity. Not so much that these are tutorials on what modules do, but these are interesting things that I was playing around with and found out, oh, wow, I didn't know it could do that. Let me share that. And so today... I'm going to look at the macro oscillator, which in mutable instruments is braids, but in VCV rack is under audible instruments, macro oscillator. But actually it's a, it's a mock-up of mutable instruments braids. Now you can go to the manual for braids and see what each of these voices are. And you can go to the excellent um, div kid video where he goes through every single one of the presets and talks about what they are and how to use them. But today I specifically want to look at Wavetable because Wavetable was kind of a new thing for me to learn about. So what is a Wavetable? Well, imagine that you have a sample of a sound. For example, let's say you sampled me saying one. I was counting one, two, three. You sampled me counting one. And then you played that one sample, you would hear one. And if you played it backwards, you'd hear something like near one, near, and so forth. That's kind of what a wavetable is. So I'm going to turn this on. And we can hear. Now it sounds like a filter. But what it really is, is that we're in a voice of the wavetable and we're scanning through it. Now, Timber will walk through the wavetable. Color allows us select to select the voice in the wavetable and I believe, let me just check, yes, there are 20 of them. So let's start at the beginning. Interesting. So let's say, let's say I have, as I do, a sequencer. And now I want to take this timber and I want to sweep it on each note. Or I can sweep the other way. or I can change the wavetable that I'm using. Let's try a few different wavetables and see what happens. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just sweep in one direction. Ooh, that was interesting. Now, what happens if instead of sweeping the timber, I sweep the color? Well, that means that we're going to be going through the wavetables. We should get a pretty cool, well, just interesting noise. Oh, that's kind of neat. Oh, no, I'm trying to find a nice slow... It's not quite working. Ah, there we go. Okay, so that's wavetable. But there's a few different wavetables. Uh, for example, the next one... Wave map is a two-dimensional implementation of the wavetable. Let's see what this sounds like. Actually, I'm going to stop the melody. So, Timber goes through the X direction. Now, 
which is what we expected. Color goes through the different tables. But notice, instead of jumping, like that, they've put wavetables that have similar sounds next to each other and they morph from one to another. Which might be an interesting thing to modulate. one. We'll modulate that too. And then we'll play a melody on it. Just some interesting ideas. So it's really kind of taking the place of what we would normally use a filter for, right? Uh, a filter of going through something like that. So basically we can use either the timber or the color as we used to use a filter. But wait, there's more. Okay, W-L-I-N is a linear version of the same wavetable that we just did, but this time everything is in order. Now if we take the color and go to about 9 o'clock and use the timber, we can hear that we're stepping through every one of those wavetables. And we can hear the steps. Now if we come up closer to 12 o'clock, we do the same thing, but that morphing happens. Pretty cool. But my favorite wavetable is the next one. Okay, WTX, WT. X4, that's wavetable times four. This is incredible. Okay, so timber is the different wavetable sounds. And you can hear how it's morphing evenly. And right here we have kind of an organ sound. Okay, but color, this is amazing. Color brings in up to four voices. So that when we play our notes here, we're actually gonna have more than one note out. We can have up to four notes in a chord playing, but we don't need four oscillators. Check this out. So there's a chorus. Whoa, suddenly we have a chord. And as we turn it up, those chord voicings will change. Now, if we pick a chord and move the timbre, we're changing the voicing of the, not the voicing of the chord, but the sound that we send to the chord. So what if we run a sequencer to this and we're moving the entire chord at once? I think we need some reverb.
There we go. And maybe let's bring it down and pitch a little bit. There we go. Now, as that sequence is playing, we can change the chord structure. And of course, we can use an ADSR and separate those notes a little bit more. Maybe I want a slightly less sharp attack, so what if we use... What if we use Rampage for that instead of, uh, let's initialize that. There we go. was thinking, what if we decide to make this really ambient? And by that I mean let's slow it down and make these chords all swell. So let's slow it way down. And one of the things that works well with that is a delay. slowly cycled through the timber. So that's wavetables, and specifically wavetable times four, a four voice wavetable output with different chord voicings. I'm going to be using this a lot. Hey, that's it for this modular curiosity. This is a quick one, but I thought there was uh, some interesting stuff here that I wanted to share. So see you next time. As always, like and subscribe because that helps me out a lot. And of course, until next time, stay curious.